Hello everybody. I have not made a video outside in a little bit and whenever I make these videos I fully intend to connect to you guys in all of the elements of what it means to be a human being and being outside in nature truly reminds me of my own internal nature and the beauty that can be found upon looking outside because sometimes we need to look outside of ourselves to further gain the inner truth and awareness of ourselves through the objects we observe, the circumstances we are dealt, and the people who are here to teach us. There is no such thing as accidents here on planet Earth. Everything is set up to assist you in your own evolution. But as you being the participant here on Earth, it is a choice whether you remain unconscious or conscious to who you are. And I'll tell you a secret. You are God. You are an aspect of the Creator, viewing itself, experiencing itself as you. And that's pretty perfect. And that's pretty awesome. That here and now, wherever you are watching this video, we share this planet, we share Mother Earth, and how we treat Mother Earth is a direct reflection of how we are treating ourselves. And sometimes we find the greatest ease and peace when we are in the embrace of being outside. And that could be a reflection of the disruption we are feeling inside. I want to remind you guys of this, that wherever you are right now currently is for you to gain greater access to your purpose, to your mission, to your service here on planet Earth. Something we all have, something we can separate from when we are in the perception of being a victim, of being wrong, unworthy, the list can go on. But sit with these things and allow your body to tell you whether they're true or not. And if your thoughts are causing anxiety and that has led you down a path of depression, it's signifying to you the oppression of your soul. Why are you not allowing it to guide you, lead you, embrace you, and who you are. Because again, you guys, you are the God. God is not someone outside of you. It is the energy that has brought you onto this planet. Can you thank it? Have you ever thanked you being here, participating, being a human being? in the contrast and the polarity of this planet and how we have a mission and we should be waking up with purpose every day of uncovering what has been happening. The illusions are becoming thinner and thinner for a reason. The density that we have kept in our minds are no longer being perceived as truth. Whenever there is greater questioning, there is greater ability to know the true answer. But we must be aware of the lies. We must use our eyes to interpret the world we desire to see. And I don't care what this world looks like. The chaos, the crazy, the dark. Those are the times I thank Mother Earth, for she is showing us what we have kept a secret for far too long. And in this community, you know, here on YouTube, all these light workers showing up and doing the videos, I guess, here, whatever, sharing their truth. It's beautiful and it's a reflection 
of ourselves. Everyone you see online, especially if you find a relation to them, you can relate on some level. It's just you. It's a higher aspect of you communicating through technology. For it is your reality. I'm just a player in it right now. And for me, I'm in my own reality. Putting myself forth in truth, in honor, in service to grant you the mirror of what you are capable of. And when push comes to shove, I hope you are willing and ready to embark on the journey of understanding the dark. For when we can understand the dark, we are able to bring forth more awareness upon light. We need both, and both are here to serve us. And how do I know this? Because it is the darkest moments in my life that has brought me into grander light for me to harness and hold and uphold in greater purpose than what the dark taught me. For the dark only taught me the capability I have of shining and I shine my light every day and sometimes my light shines in the darkest of days when I allow it to be dark and I don't try to allow the night the dark night of the soul to be the morning sunrise that would be arrogant and that's what a lot of people are doing with their internal emotions is trying to meet make their dark light without understanding the dark has the capability of holding your light. There's no need to shift out of it. It's just a willingness to embrace your parts and to access the truth of your being by seeing where you have fragmented yourself so then you can awaken back inside of your center. Light workers are not here to just be in light. It's not common though, because a lot of light workers feel comfortable just working with the light polarity of things. And that's not what it means to be a spiritual warrior. Spiritual warrior finds great purpose in overcoming obstacles, challenges, and embracing the dark moments to allow another person to feel safe in what it means to overcome this. And when we as a society can stand together and stand up and stand tall, regardless of what is happening, is when we can truly make change by not putting anyone in the wrong rather understanding why we label the very aspects of human nature as wrong. God doesn't make mistakes. It's only the human mind that perceives in them and that identifies to them and attaches to them that creates unsafety within what we go through. But what we go through is for us to understand ourselves in greater truth. So I ask you guys today, embrace whatever you're going through. Find truth in the lies that create disturbance in the body. Your guidance system is within your emotions. Do not ignore them. Do not ignore your internal guidance. The answers are within. I'm confirming to you guys today, the path you are seeking to take is the road to understanding your mistakes, to find wisdom in wrongdoings, so you can do something out of the wrong in today's society. This is a challenge. 
the ones who are equipped to handle their own internal dark won't be scared of what's to come. For what's to come is going for is going to be us seeing a lot of aspects of the human collective consciousness outside of ourselves. For everything in this world is a mirror, so everything that comes forth into our awareness has something to do with what we're still holding on to. And to truly make change, we need to see what needs to be changed. So hold on tight. Embrace your human experience. Don't shame yourself. Embrace who you are as a human, knowing that you are on purpose every day when you can serve yourself to understanding the greater truth of what you are going through by not diminishing your light, but using the dark to be the catalyst to bring forth the light to lead the way. I love you guys and I hope you have a beautiful day today.